Um, we're currently filming in my closet because it was too light out there. And I didn't want to wait until nighttime to film this video. I wanted to do it while it's fresh in my memory, so. Okay. So last night, we were almost asleep. And then we hear the cat start to yell, like, meow. And she does that from time to time. But it just sounded really strange this time. I joked that, oh, she probably saw a ghost. Animals see things that we don't. After that, I said, maybe we should get the house cleansed. Less than a minute after me saying we should cleanse the house, we hear a loud boom from the other room. My boyfriend immediately got up to go and check. He turns the lights on outside to see if somebody's trying to get in, but the noise was clearly inside the house, you guys. He tried saying, oh, the cat probably threw a tantrum because she wanted treats, but the cat wasn't begging him for treats when he got up to look. She was sitting right at the edge of the bedroom, looking out like she was scared of something out there. All I could think about in that moment was back to when we first viewed the house and the previous owners still had all their things in it. The one side of the bed had holy water sitting on it. My boyfriend told me, oh, they're probably just really religious, and I brushed it off, but after the weird things like this occurring, it makes me think they had the holy water for a reason. He came back in the bedroom and lay down, and the cat hid under the bed at this point. And he was just laughing at me, being all scared. I was literally crying. I was so scared. But he doesn't believe in ghosts and stuff. He's like, oh, why don't you think it's something normal? Why are you trying to believe it's a ghost there's like many reasons i do believe it's a ghost because other times like one time i was sitting in the living room pitch black only the tv on and he was already in bed and i saw this white figure walk past me and i like looked and i didn't see anything and i sat there like scared thinking he was gonna jump out and try to freak me out but it wasn't him i got up and i went in the room and he was there, sleeping. And then another time, I woke up in the middle of the night, like I felt like I got tugged in the bed. But his foot was near me, so I tried to rationalize that myself because it freaked me out so bad. I tried to tell myself like, oh, I probably just dreamt it happening and he, like his foot touched me in the moment, so it freaked me out, you know? But. I was significantly farther down in the bed, like somebody actually pulled on me. He doesn't believe in ghosts, so it almost makes me believe I'm an easier target for whatever is here, because I do believe in it. I feel like it's, I'm easier prey. And tonight is devil's night, so I can only imagine the crazy stuff that could happen tonight. And that freaked me out when I realized that this morning, I'm like, oh great. Last night stuff was happening, what can happen on Devil's Night? I definitely think we should hire a medium, we should get the house cleansed like I said, I don't care what could happen. Something needs to happen here because I'm terrified, he thinks I'm crazy. But we both heard the noise you guys, we both heard it. It was so loud, the cat was staring like she was afraid, something's going on.